Hey guys, what's going on? Do you need to make a mid-effective crystal? Well, guess what? We're going to be doing that right now. This video was made due to a request by RackMac55. Now, let's get to the tutorial. You will need containment cell, tweezers, vials, and a workspace. All right, so we're gonna claim a workspace first, hopefully one close to the vials and all that. How do we get the best chance of making a mid-effective crystal? We're gonna need to be changing the vial color. How do we change the vial color? We use the burners, which are these right here. When you're using the burners, you're going to want to get to the third vial color, which is purple, to get the best chance of a mid-effective crystal, 27%. Okay, let's first start by getting our tweezers. We're going to need to take some vials, and we're going to need to put them over here. Now, you're probably going to want to put one in your burner and put three in the vial stand. See, when you grab a vial, I mean, yeah, a vial, use your tweezers to hold the vial. You're going to put it in your vial stand right here. You want to do this with... You want to have four vials in total, a fifth one if you want, but that extra space might be helpful. Now that we have all four vials, we're going to start by turning on the burner. We are going to wait until the vial will turn purple. Once it turns purple, we will turn off the burner and put it into here. We're going to need four purple to be in here. You're going to need to wait a little bit for all four to be purple, but hey, sometimes you just got to wait to do stuff. We now have our first purple vial. You're going to want to click it from the burner. Now it will be in your tweezers and put it into here. You're going to need to do this with the other three vials. Now that we have all four vials, purple and in the fuel thing, we can now shut the fuel door. We have the fuel done, but what's next? Next, we're going to need to get a crystal, which we're going to need to go to the crystal cave for. So you're just wanna gonna go out this hallway, take a left from the hallway and go into the crystal cave. Make sure to go into the changing room and get a hazmat suit. It's very important that you do this. Now that you have your hazmat suit, you can open the door to the crystal cave and let's go get a crystal. Honestly, I'm not sure if orange or green crystals is what we need, but for this tutorial, I'm gonna get a green crystal. So hold your containment cell and hold E over a crystal, and then you should have it in your containment cell. Now we're going to need to exit the crystal cave. Okay, I just found that, and so we are going to try and make an expedition we're going to expedite our process out of this cave, and it appears I just found new crystals. Okay, I'm gonna check this out later, but let's try and just get out of this cave because I don't wanna deal with whatever the heck that is. Okay, I've been going for a little bit and I think I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna wanna click on that vault door so we can get out of here. So now you wanna go into the changing room, take off your hazmat suit, and go back to your workspace. I'll meet you there. Now that we have our crystal, we're going to want to open this door here Hold the containment cell up to it, put it in, and close the door. So here's what you do next. Okay, so you're gonna wanna press the power button. And once you're able to, you're going to press the laser boost button to where it, the lasers are at 100% boost. Okay, now that it's on, we're going to set the laser boost to 100%. Once the temperature gets above 300 degrees Celsius, you're going to turn the laser boost to 40. So it will still rise, but it will be rising slowly. Now it's at 300, we're going to set our boost down to 40. By the way, that new crystal type I saw, I'm gonna talk about it now. I don't know what it is. Cause it seems like, see this was a, this is effective type, this green one. So that means that other one must be something else. Now we're going to wait for the crystal to change types. Please remember that this is a chance game. It's gonna take chances for it to get to what we need to be. And it seems I got a super effective, which I have not seen before, but now you are going to turn your laser boost to 0% and you're going to let the thing fall. Once it is below 300 degrees, you are going to set it to 30 so it will still fall, but it should use fuel faster, which you know, we don't want to wait here forever. So set your laser boost to 30 and wait for it to turn off. And unfortunately, this is not a mid-effective crystal, but if you repeat the steps over again, if you did not get a mid-effective crystal the first time, you should eventually get a mid-effective crystal. But I'm going to check out that other crystal see what that one was about. Maybe it, it will be more helpful. Now we're going to need to wait for the light to be green and then we can open the door and take our crystal. All right, the light has turned green. So now we can take this. This is a super crystal, which honestly, I don't think I've seen before. Super effective crystal. That might be the one we saw in the cave. I'm going to put this here. So if you do, if you put your containment cell either in there or over here, make sure to get another one. I almost forgot to mention, when you finish, if you do not have the mid effective crystal, you're going to need to take, you're going to need to take these four empty vials and put them over here in the trash can. 
do this with all four vials. All right, I've cleared out all the vials. So now we're going, I'm going to go to the crystal cave again. And it doesn't matter if you get the crystal first or do the vials and change them to purple first. Just make sure you do both, you know. I want to let you know I've never seen this crystal before, so I have no idea. I just had a thought, maybe these, the color crystal goes with the color vial because we're using purple vials, purple crystals. It's still there, which concerns me. Concerns me a great deal, whatever the heck that thing is. I want to try and hopefully make my way out of this cave before this game thing, before this becomes a horror game. Alright, we have all four vials purple again, and we have this crystal. When I press this power button, in a moment it should show us the type it is before it's really changed. So we're going to find out if I need to make a whole nother tutorial right now. Oh, I see. It's super effective already. So there's just... Wait, what? All right, so yeah, make sure you turn it up to 100% till it gets over, but there is a task for super effective crystals, as you can see. You can literally just go to the cave. You don't even need to make it. No. Anyway, we're going for mid-effective. So once you get above 300 degree, down. All righty. Set the laser boost to 0% and let it fall below 300. Now that it's fallen below 300, set the laser boost to 30. All right, any moment now, the light should turn green. We'll be able to open the heating machine and we will now have a mid-effective crystal. Congratulations, you have just made a mid-effective crystal. Let's go. And if it doesn't work, just repeat the steps and do it again until you get it. Good job. 